My guest today made her unforgettable Broadway debut last year in the reworking of On a Clear Day You Can See Forever. She made quite an impact and was remembered earlier this week with her very first Tony Award nomination. Please welcome Jesse Mueller. Hi, hey, Jesse. Hi, how's it Look going? Look at you, you're a Tony Award nominee. Good grief. <laughs> it's been a few days, so how, how's the ego? How do you feel? How's the ego? <laughs> um, I don't even know, I don't even know if the ego's in on it yet. The brain is still catching up. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's it's good. I'm a little calmer now and yeah. yeah. You're from Chicago. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. an acclaimed Chicago actress well, thank you. who was who was uh, who won this very coveted role on, on Broadway, and um, it was kind of refreshing when you got the role because I love when I when I hear about Broadway casting and I don't know one of the people. That's mm -hmm. awesome because normally it's the same crop of people that get everything, but. Jesse Mueller. So immediately you Google Jesse Mueller, and there you are. And you don't find anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I found out that you are a, a Jeff award-winning actress. Mm -hmm. Jeff is the. They say it's the the it's Tony like the award. It's the Chicago Tony. The Chicago Tony. Yes. So Tony Jeff. They're good friends, I think. They know each other. <laughs> they get together and have coffee. They talk about who they're going to award this year. <laughs> you were actually in Chicago when you found out, right? Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, I think I was. Maybe. Uh, wait, about the Tony or about yeah, the when Tony I got the Tony nomination. The Tony nomination. No, no, no. I was here. Oh, you I were. had actually just been in Chicago because um, I came here for the show, and I was was it like Saturday, Sunday? I was closing up my apartment that I had there, so I was closing up my apartment, putting everything in storage, and then drove back here, um, and then yeah, and then Tuesday morning. It, it yeah. all happened. Were you paying, a t I, 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 let me see how honest you're going to be here. Yes. Were you paying attention to, did, did, did you have in your head like 20 nominations come out today? I mean, you must have. I, I mean, remembered, it was a, on Monday night, I did remember, I was like, because somebody had mentioned it to me, because I am bad about keeping up with those things, I, I will be honest. Yeah. And somebody mentioned it to me, so it was funny. I had a moment the night before, it was just like a flash. It was like, hmm, 20 nominations are coming out right. tomorrow morning. But it didn't. I, I, it was not on my radar of things that would happen in my life, so like I wasn't, I didn't tune in. So you didn't. Maybe that's bad to say, but I didn't okay. tune in. So you didn't see that like the week before we had listed you as a front runner for a nomination, Broadway.com. You weren't paying attention. I guess I wasn't paying attention. You're, you're playing it cool. That's good. Well, I don't know if I was playing it cool. I mean, maybe playing it clueless. <laughs> playing it clueless. <laughs> or not playing, just being clueless. Not playing. I was not, pl I She's playing. not playing. I'm playing. <laughs> And you know they don't always remember uh, closed shows, so it's so yeah. So show only ran for a few months. Mm -hmm. It was this very big reworking of yeah. this classic musical. Um, so that must have sucked. It closed. I mean, yeah, it's, it's like business. you always want that's show business. I mean, of course you always. Want. And then by that point too, it's. I mean, it's such hard work getting a show up, and yeah, the experience of getting a Broadway show up. I mean, it's just like times a hundred of everything that I've been dealing with prior and um, we, we had sort of gotten to that point where it's like oh we're doing our show like this is our show and we're doing it we're running it like these are our friends and this is where we come to work every day and then it was like oh we don't get to do that anymore right so I mean it was yeah yeah it was disappointing but I mean you never know what's gonna happen you have a little bit of distance now from the show yeah um, and it was a major reworking so you know the, in the original show there was this girl Daisy Gamble mm -hmm. who sort of had these two personalities. In ESP, right? E yeah, ESP drama, a lot of 60s. There was lots of flowers involved. <laughs> there, were there were lots of flowers involved in our show actually there were flowers. too. People love flowers. <laughs> <laughs> and now Daisy Gamble became David Gamble, mm -hmm. became a gay man. Daisy became a gay man. Correct. And then you were his past self, a 1940s jazz... Woman. A woman. Heterosexual. Heterosexual jazz singer. Got that? You got all that? <laughs> no, it was a it was a lot. Do you think that if you just look back at it now, is that just too confusing for people to understand? Do you think the audience has got it? They did. Yeah. I think it's really hard to conceptualize. It's hard to like have the thing to say about the show. You know what I mean? You always want to have like your tag and be like, "Come see right, this right. show," you and you'd be like, "Sum it up." The man who and it, it was like the <laughs> most impossible thing to do. And you know, we had to do that. We had to come up with these these answers, but um, I, the audience has totally got it. And, and, and the thing that was fun too, it was, it was smart. And it was yeah. really challenging, I think, to audiences, yeah. and it was bold in that way, that you, it was a little discombobulated in the beginning, but if you went with it, I mean, audiences loved it. And yeah. they were just so thrilled when they, when it got to the point where they were ahead of the characters, and they knew what was gonna happen or what could never happen, and then yeah. by the end, they were just, 
they were so wrapped up in it. Right. You said you don't read reviews. Have you yeah, read the no, reviews I since? I you got very yet. nice reviews. Thank you. I, I did I did hear that. People were very kind to tell me that. But, but you no, haven't read I them. still haven't read them. I still haven't you, read you them. You don't ever want to read them? I probably will someday. Like Maybe like in a couple years or when I'm old and gray and happy. Fifteen. Let's let's put a date on it. <laughs> Unless you and I make a pact. <laughs> and then you can call me and be like, Did you read those reviews yet? <laughs> You'll just be handed a big pile. That's right. Like a huge manila. Or a bunch you'll, of you'll mail me a huge manila folder. <laughs> Highlight all your stuff. Yeah. I won't be able to read by then. It'll be great. You were gorgeous in the show. Oh, thank and you. And it's funny. This is, this is Jesse. That was Kathy Zuber. This is Jesse. Kathy Zuber. Right. I mean, you were like done up. Oh, yeah. So how, how, was that fun? Oh, it was so much fun. Yeah. And that changed a lot in previews, too. I mean, I, uh -huh. uh, the, I mean costumes changed and hair designs changed. And uh -huh. I was always a redhead, I think. I had this great red wig in the show, um, which was fun. But, uh, but yeah, things were tweaked. And, but it's, that was part of it for me, was coming in every day. And, you know, it sounds cheesy, but transforming. Were it was you? really fun. Um, and you were able to sort of keep your cool? I mean, I, like you said, opening a know. big Broadway yeah, show. Yeah, somebody else. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I think I did okay. I don't know. On the inside, all kinds of things were happening. It's. Were you terrified? I wasn't terrified. Uh -huh. No, um, overwhelmed at times. I think, but I don't think terrified came into it. Once you're on the stage, it's like, that's what you do, and that's right. that's kind of the same almost anywhere you go. Uh huh. But it's all the, you know, it's all the. The new stuff around it that was really different to me. Right, and a lot of buzz. Yeah, 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 that of, kind of stuff that yeah. I wasn't used to. And you still uh, are in touch with Harry Connick Jr., your dashing leading man, correct? Yes. And yes, I've heard and him talk about the experience of the he's show. He's texting me right now. I'm what, sure he, about his big, my what's, big interview. No. What kind of things does he text you? We did play Words with Friends a couple times. Oh, really? Yes. Not draw something and not to draw something. No, but uh, my friend just my friend told me about that, but I haven't done it yet. I am actually um, terrible at words with friends, so yeah, I can't. If you want to play friends, with me, you draw always something you'll I can always do. win. Draw yeah. something I feel like I'd be good at. Yeah, you could do stick figures, and it could be just very. I was good at Pictionary. Do you think Harry Connick would be good at draw something? I do don't know. I don't know. I don't know what his visual art skills are. He needs a game where like you write a song off the top of your. <laughs> he will win that game. Why don't you Is play it? a virtuosic piano solo? You win. You yeah. you've performed like uh, at different events, like things beyond the, the on a clear day stuff, right? Like like you're, you're like this little jazz duo, you two. We got to do we got to do one thing. Um, I think it was I'm trying to remember. It was a press event, I think, at the Algonquin Room. Uh huh. I, I, what did I just say? Algonquin. That's Algonquin. Cl close room? enough. Um, <laughs> that was super cool because he had played there two years ago. It was one of like the first first big places I think he played in New York City. Yeah. If I've got that wrong, sorry, Harry. Um, but it was wild. And then we got to do this really cool thing uh, for um, Broadway Cross America where we got to sing together right. and I got to sing with his band. And that was, that was so wild. Yeah. Because I felt, because it was like a Harry Connick Jr. concert and then I snuck in. But he let me, so. Yeah, it it's fun. pretty amazing that you, that you have him in your phone now, right? Uh, yes, I do. No, I mean, not him physically, but you. No, physically. <laughs> I, I, he's very compact. <laughs> so what happens after the show closed? So have you been in New York? Are you a New York girl now? Uh, I'm trying to become a New York girl. Yeah. I'll probably always be a Midwest girl at heart. But um, yeah, I've been pretty much here. I made a couple of visits uh, home, went to Chicago for me. But mostly I've been here auditioning and stuff. And and trying to make it happen, so. There's an exciting production of Into the Woods coming to um, the Delacorte mm -hmm, Theater mm -hmm. in Central Park this summer. Yes. And you are Cinderella. I am the Cinderella, the one who loses her shoe. Are you excited? So excited. I, I am so excited. I saw so footage excited. of the show. Of, of They did it in London. The director did the, did the show right. in London. And it just looks like a complete, like visually, just a totally different take yeah. on Into it the Woods. It seems so cool and, and gritty and everything it should be. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because it's like the anti-fairy tale fairy tale. Right. Yeah, it looks. It, the concept seems really neat, so I'm excited to get to work on it. So the one thing that kind of sucks about on uh, credit closing is that there wasn't an album made. I know. And everyone's dying to hear you sing those songs in their ears as they walk around the streets. Oh, thanks. Are there any good bootlegs of it or anything? I don't know. Can I don't have any. <laughs> I wish I did. Well, hope, maybe someday. Maybe someday. Post those get... bootlegs, people. No, I'm kidding. Um, and don't you don't want to encourage you that? You have an incredible voice. I've heard people compare you to like Judy Garland. I've oh heard, wow! I've heard that come up, uh, and Barbara Streisand. She's another one. 
who came up. I did notice that you did play, uh -oh. you did Meet Me in St. Louis. I did. So you probably sang The Boy Next Door. Uh -huh. And did it sound like Judy Garland? Did you do a heavy Judy Garland? I sounded exactly like her. Ex no, I'm kidding. Exactly. <laughs> no, but I, I, I actually loved, I think I broke my tape of Meet Me in St. Louis because I watched it so many times. Like I had the VHS. Yeah. I loved that movie. So I know that she was, she was in my mind. I mean, I wasn't trying to do yeah. that impression, but I mean, she's I, just so iconic. You can't. Another not make a nod to it, you know? Yeah. Another person that I know that you're obsessed with because I got to watch you have like a fangirl moment at the Tony nominee brunch was it's under McDonald. I was so glad I got to witness that because you kind of lost it and I love that. Yeah. Was that exciting? She, it was so exciting. She, I was like, I just wanted to be like, you're so gorgeous. I mean, she's like <laughs> so, she's stunning anyway, but when you meet her in real life, yeah. she's just like, I'm almost like, wow. She's so beautiful and statuesque and like, bright there's just like this light coming yeah. out of her yeah she glows she really does yeah i was kind of in awe i was in awe of a lot of people at that Who at else? that event just watch just looking around well, somebody pulled me into a shot with john lithgow and he was just as lovely as can be you know, oh hello nice to meet you and i was like oh all right yes let's take our picture together like we know each other um so everybody was actually really lovely at that yeah but yeah there was a lot of me looking around like <laughs> I want to rewind a little bit and go to uh, Chicago. You grew up in Illinois in the Chicago area, Evanston, uh -huh. right? Yes, very good. And you are from a f family of actors, which is hilarious. Your your dad's an actor, your mom's an actor, two brothers, one sister. Two brothers, one sister. And everybody acts. Everybody acts at this point. That is insane. So, what is it like, like holidays in this house? I mean, I, I mean, See, you know. I Everybody always asks that. I think to us it feels normal. It's so normal. But like, I was, I think it was at Easter, a friend of mine came over who is not in the business at all. And, and I mean, she was just, she was, I think she was sort of bracing herself. She was like, no, it was great. But it's just, there's so much going on. Lot. And I think we're just really loud. What were your parents like? Do you have memories of being a kid and watching them on stage and oh, yeah. being backstage and all that stuff? Yeah. I remember my mom took me backstage to a production of Sound of Music at the Marriott Lincolnshire. I can't remember how old I was, but I, and, that, and that's like so kind of illegal. You're not really supposed to do that. But some, <laughs> some of them said I probably was little enough and they were like, no, it's okay. She's quiet and she stays in the dressing room. Right. But yeah, I remember like the costume hanging on the wall and she would come back from her entrance and be like, how you doing? And now we're going to put this one on. And, and I definitely remember my, my dad doing shows when I was like little. Yeah. Like I think I was about four, maybe even younger. I mean, I don't know. I guess they were just really good about, you know, telling us, you need to be quiet, you know what I mean? But I guess we didn't make a ruckus, hopefully. So let's talk about Chicago as a theater town. Uh -huh. Obviously, it's a really rich theater town. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and your whole family seems to be employed in the Chicago. <laughs> the Chicago. Where's some wood? <laughs> and all my friends, and, no. <laughs> so what do they think about everything that's happening to you? I don't know. That's a really interesting are question. Are they wildly jealous? I or? think, no, which is great. <laughs> we are a very loving family, which is nice and supportive. Yeah. Um, I, that's funny because I feel like I, I'm probably still a little bit a part of that too because that's still so much of my sensibility. Yeah. It's just what, you know, I think people that grow up here and in this area, they go to see Broadway shows and Broadway to me was such a, like it was such a, it was so far away. Yeah. Like I had my own my own version of it in in my brain right you know what i mean within yeah. the within the chicago theater scene so uh i don't know i don't know what they think of it all i think we're all a little bit like oh okay sure this is happening We've, why not your sister mm -hmm. is also an actress and yes. i saw you guys did guys and dolls together we did you were miss adelaide to her sarah brown right? yes yeah what, have you done a lot of shows together i think we've done three shows together I want to say three. We did a production of Shenandoah. Okay. And we played Sisters in Law, which is kind of funny. <laughs> and we, uh, and then we did um, a, a musical version of the Three Musketeers together. Huh. I think that was it. So three, three okay. shows. How do I get you two to do sideshow together? Do we know sideshow? Ask. Ask. Uh, they'll do it. The Mueller sisters. We'll do it. <laughs> Bring it. Your sister Abby Mueller. Abby yes. Mueller. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know sideshow? Do you sing sideshow like a the dinner table together or anything? Sometimes, yeah, holiday funk, family functions, holidays. Um, no, we don't really. But I do know it. I think we actually saw it together. Oh, yeah? Once at a theater in Chicago. Okay. But everybody always asks us that. Really? We have one dear friend um, who's always like. Not an original idea. No, no, everyone, no. Everyone thinks we should do sideshow. I'm just kidding. You have one friend that what? That, that 
he's like, we when when are, when are we making this happen? Yeah, let's do when this. When are we making this happen? Let's do this. It might be dangerous though to have like, I mean, like real. I mean, they're like attached to the hip, literally. That's a lot of time. Yeah, you, you're, you're rubbing up on and your sister together. a lot. It's kind of weird. It's know. a little weird. Maybe we won't do that. Maybe. We, I'm sorry. I'm I sorry for her. bringing it up. No, it's all right. <laughs> I think she feels the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Have you worked with other members of your family? Are there other like combinations? Yes, I've worked with my. Uh, I've worked with my dad, and I've worked with my uh, younger brother. Uh huh. I've never done a show with my other brother. Uh-huh. I don't think. High school. We did shows in high school together. Oh, let's talk, we about, high, let's talk about high school. I let's read, talk about I also it. read somewhere that you were in The Wiz, so clearly this was a non-traditional version of The Wiz. Yes, and I was a, I was a townsperson and a winky. Was this one of those amazing, like, all-white Illinois versions of The Wiz? No, it was actually very multi, multi-racial. Oh, okay. okay, cool. Yeah. So could My high school was great about that. I was in Township High School. Shout out. Mm-hmm. Shout it out. Uh, and did you did you get down to all that awesome whiz did music? Did I get down? I got down. Yeah? Can yeah. you get down? Jesse Mueller gets down. I get down. <laughs> she eases on down the road. I eased on down. <laughs> I think we have pit singers, too. Because it's high school. So you're like, everybody has to have a part. You know <laughs> right, what I mean? Okay. So it's like there are 40 people on stage and then 20 people also singing in the pit. You were obviously supposed to become an actress. I mean, like, but did you yes. not, did it take you a while to figure yeah. that out? But then you said, okay, I guess this is a family business. I'm going to be, go become a Tony-nominated actress. <laughs> is that the deal? What happened? No, that didn't. Did that, they force you? What happened? No. No. I think my parents always joke that, you know, they should have encouraged us to be doctors or something. More stable life. But, uh, no, I really struggled with it, actually, sort of at the end of high school when it seemed like the time to decide what I wanted to study in college and, well, do I really want to do this? And I'd seen enough of, like, the real-life aspects of it, too, right. to know what it was Right. You know, really like to do it. So, no, I really struggled with it. Yeah. I still struggle with it sometimes. Do you? I mean, it's like the rewards are so great. It's hard. It's really hard. And that probably seems crazy coming from me because of the experience that I've just had. But, you know, it's all relative. Yeah. Everybody's got their stuff. But it's, you know, I have a lot of respect for people that are in this business and that stay in this business and persevere and find balance and all that stuff. Because it's tricky. It's really yeah. tricky. And to take a high, like what you're on right now, and to not let that sort of mess with your head. Well, sure. Because, like, you still have to go home and do your laundry, yeah. which I really do have to do today. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, make your, make your dinner and, you know, do all that stuff. Yeah. I want to hear about uh, Andy Trushinsky. Is that his name? I outed say it right? the boyfriend. I want to out your boyfriend. You outed him. This was a showmance. Totally was. Correct? Yeah, we were kind of embarrassed about it. You were in a Christmas carol. Mm-hmm. And did anyone know that young Scrooge was hooking up with Belle? Was this like, did everybody I know? I don't think so. We were really we were really good about it. We Nothing really happened until like the show was over, I think. We did were both kind of like, you're really cool and you're really cool. But I don't know. Okay, so it wasn't actually about right now. Okay. And, yeah. He's an actor as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So is he here with you in New York? Uh, he's here right now. He's actually going back uh, to the Midwest. Uh, Notre Dame Shakespeare does a festival uh-huh. every summer, and he's playing Hamlet this summer. So mm. he's got his work cut out for him. Is he going to go to the Tonys with you? I think he is going to go to the Tonys with yeah. me. Mm-hmm. All my friends are like, who are you wearing? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, people always jump right to that, and it's, yeah. it's hard to. Well, that's the fun part of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when you watch the Tonys at home, it's like, oh, what are people going to wear? And right. What are they choosing? And what do they look like? You know, it's fun. Do you have a Barbara Streisand thing? Have people told you that before? That people you, have told me that before. Yeah. Do you do you do any good uh, Barbara Streisand impressions? I or really don't. Do you not, you not want to sing Down With Love or something? Or Rain On My Parade? Do you want to sing something? We could sing the, um, you and I could do her duet with Celine Dion right, right now. You could, okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. We won't. What do you want to do next? Do you have any... Um, Jesse Miller dream roles? Come on, let's think big. Ooh, You've done a lot big. in Chicago, but let's dream big for Broadway. Let's dream big. I'm really actually very intrigued by new stuff. Okay. I like doing new stuff. I think that's why Clearly so was so fun So your answer is something too. that hasn't been written yet. Is that your answer? Maybe. Kind of boring. Any classic roles? Up. Funny Girl? Yes, I know. Funny Girl. Well, I'd love to, do funny. I'd love uh, to do Funny Girl someday. Uh, One of these just days. Just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. <laughs> <laughs> you were funny. I am a girl. You're a girl. And I mean, that's really, that's like what's on the breakdown, those, those isn't it? T- <laughs> that, that is and the, was it Fanny Bryce? Funny? Girl. I'm submitting. 
Uh, anything else? You can't think of anything else? Come on, what do you listen to? What's on your... Well, actually, Into the Woods was a huge one for really? me. Really? I've always wanted Cinderella? to Cinderella. Cinderella. Because I actually thought you'd be an awesome baker. Baker's when I first wife? heard it, I thought you were the baker's wife. But they got Amy Adams. I think she's going to be good. But <laughs> mm -hmm. They did okay with that. I think you could do either role. Have you ever... I'd love to do both. You know, I'd love to kind of, like, work through that show. You want to do all and the do roles? All of them. Yeah. All even it's Jack. It's such a good show. Love to be Jack. The witch. I think I'd be a really good mysterious man. <laughs> what do you think? Are you gonna Are you gonna request that you're the cover for all the roles? Oh my God, can you imagine? That'd be awesome. No, what? that would be so hard. Or like Into the Woods, the one woman show, hmm. with a lot of props and hats. Yes, a cow oh. hat. Just <laughs> the ears, the bell, with the bell. Have you met Donna Murphy yet? She's I did. I got to meet her at the opening of Clear Day. Oh. Briefly. She was so sweet. Wow, so it all came together. Isn't that weird? Yeah. yeah. She was actually, that's funny you say that, she was actually one of the first people that I ran into like as I was walking into the, the party that night. Well, uh, I'm so excited for you. you. You were definitely on the list of people that they better remember Jesse Mueller. Oh, thanks. Congratulations on everything. And Into the Woods starts, what, July 23rd? That sounds at the correct. The Delacorte Theater mm -hmm. in Central Park. And the Tony Awards. We can watch Jesse Mueller on the Tony Awards. Isn't dressed, that crazy? All dressed up. Isn't that crazy? <gasps> I hope my hair did and everything. Her hair will be did. And that will be on June 10th on yes. CBS. Thank you so much, Jesse. It's oh, good to see pleasure. you. Oh, my pleasure. You too. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.